Beide haben mit ihren Bands Musikgeschichte geschrieben. Fried als Sängerin von ABBA und der John Lord als Tastenvirtuos bei Deep Purple. Zusammen haben ABBA und Deep Purple bisher eine halbe Milliarde Alben verkauft und die Klassiker gehen auch heute noch täglich über den Ladetisch. Mittlerweile nehmen sie die beiden Weltstars aber ein bisschen ruhiger. Zur Zeit sind sie Zermatt, die Frieda und der John Lord sind nämlich Pate vom Zermatt Unplugged Festival. Und in diesem Zusammenhang hat sich Michel Ursprung mit ihnen unterhalten. From the actual music, uh, things that you're doing, the music projects, what is the most important for you now? Um, well, uh, now I'm, I'm pretty much writing mostly uh, orchestral music. I, uh, you know, I had 40 years as a rock and roll musician and uh, it got a bit loud. <laughs> so, uh, you know, to, that my projects now are mainly based around writing uh, for orchestras or for small, small groups of, of strings and, and more acoustic, more in fact unplugged than, than I used to be. I was very plugged uh, for, for a long time. Or are there things that you're missing in the modern pop music? that is very different from the time that you were playing music? Honestly, I must say, I do not listen so much to pop music any longer. Uh, and can I tell you why? I mean, uh, once in a while I, I put MTV on just to ch check up uh, what it is you know, going on. And I, I think that the, the, the s sexual kind of the thing that is going on within music is not my cup of tea. I, and I don't think it has to do with my age to do. I think it has to do with uh, not ever have liked it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if I'm looking back to Agneta and myself uh, being a two female, uh, uh, or, or the, the two females of ABBA, mm -hmm. I mean, we we were so innocent. My gosh, if you compare it to now. <laughs> you, you were very sexy, let me tell you that. No, <laughs> no that's <laughs> so sweet of you. But I mean, uh, there are some good mel melodies. I still like to listen to, to uh, uh, R&B and um, some hip-hop as well. I like that kind of rhythm. That's my kind of beat, so to speak. What are you thinking about uh, hard rock development from the last 10 years? The, the one branch of, of, of really hard rock development that I never liked was, 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 was heavy metal. I don't... that's not my cup of tea. Um, I'm I'd, not going to tell my grandson that. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, a, he's a heavy metal musician. I know, and he'll never forgive me. Uh, but, um, because I found it, uh, for, this, for me, it, it, it was emotionless. It, it was just, and it was quite angry. It, it seems, all the, and there's a lot of talk about death and stuff. It, it worries me a little bit. Um, but, but good, honest, hard rock, I, I, as I see it and as I think Deep Purple played, um, I, I, still, I, I still find it immensely attractive. And I see some good young bands coming up, you know, in England and in the United States, and a couple in Europe that I've noticed over the last few years. I think, again, as I said before, with this generation of young musicians, music is in good hands, I think.